Hello everyone, how are you today? Um, today I'm going to show you how to fix a device driver problem in uh, Windows 7. Um, I'm showing particularly for uh, sound, but this can be applied to any of the devices you have in your uh, computer or laptop. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you exactly what the problem looks like with sound. As you can see right here, uh, when I go on the sound icon, it says no audio output device is installed. Um, but when I look into device manager, it says um, high definition audio device is installed. So basically what the problem is, um, Windows 7 installed some drivers uh, automatically for every device as soon as it finds dri uh, drivers for, the, for that device. But in some device, in case of some devices, what it does is, uh, is it installs either generic or universe, universal drivers, uh, which are not correct drivers. So first, first thing you have to do is you have to download correct drivers for either the manufacturer of the device, or you can go to your PC manufacturers like Dell, HP, Acer, or whichever company's uh, computer you have, and uh, download the correct drivers for Windows 7. After that, what you have to do is you have to stop Windows from installing these devices, um, sorry, these drivers automatically. So for that, what you have to do is you have to go and start, type in gpedit.msc in the search area and just press enter. Also, this gpedit is not going to work in Vista, Vista Home, any of the Vista Home or any of the in uh, 7 home it's um, going to work in uh, enterprise business or ultimate editions so right here when um, GP edit opens up you have to go in administrative tools double click that then you have to go in system double click that and uh, then you have to go in device installation double click that device installation restrictions double click that and now here I have already enabled it but what you would find is instead of this enabled and this enabled it would be just like this non -conf not configured so what you will have to do is you'll you'll have to double click it instead of non not configured you have to enable it after you enable it you have to click apply and click OK and then right here it says prevent installation of device not described by their policy settings you have to enable that as well so you have to do you have to enable two of them the first one is allow administrators to override uh, device installation restriction policies that's one the other one is prevent installation of devices not described by other policy settings those two options instead of not configured you have to enable it one more time I'm going to show you how to do that double click the policy instead of not configured check the radio button to uh, enabled click OK or click apply and OK either way it's fine then you're all set now Windows cannot install drivers on its own so close that out open up your device manager to access device manager you have to go to start on your computer right click then click on manage as soon as you click on manage it's going to open up computer management in computer management management you will see device manager click on that and it will populate the list of drivers you have installed now I have problem with my sound so as you can see it says high definition audio device it does not say what company it is as in other cases where it says mobile Intel mobile Intel 915 so it says which company is uh, co which company makes the do device that I have so here I'm going to uninstall this and then go on my computer name which is Tarun Manjal PC and scan for hardware changes. Now it's trying to install the drivers but it's not going to be able to because we changed the policy. See device installation was prevented by policy. So that's a good thing. Now we go back to device manager go on the device update device driver software we're not gonna go for search automatically we're going to browse our computer and uh, we have to point to the location where we have the drivers you may have to 
unzip your drivers that you downloaded from manufacturer of your PC or manufacturer of the device. So in my case, I put that on my desktop users, Dermanjol desktop, desktop, desktop. So I browse it. When you click browse, it's going to give you all the options. When you browse to it, click OK, click Next. Sorry, I'm rushing a little bit because YouTube have uh, has this uh, limitation of uh, uh, video being under 10 minutes, so I have to. Windows can't uh, verify the publisher of the drivers. It might give you this problem, but I know because I downloaded from Realtek. Uh, these drivers are genuine. I have no problem, and I'm gonna just install this driver software anyway. I'm gonna click on that. And it's installing the drivers. Well, then while it installs, we'll just wait. And as you can see, right here, it's the icon still says no audio output device is installed, and there's a cross mark with a red circle on it in red circle as soon as it's done installing. So we'll hear a little bit sound, and then we'll be done. It says finished installing driver successfully and now you can say before it said high definition audio device it did not say real tech now it says real tech so I have the correct drivers installed I'm just gonna close device manager and when I click this now you will hear the sound now give it a couple minutes see did you hear the sound so we're all good to go Alright, we just fixed the problem. Thanks for watching the video. Take care and uh, wait for more videos. Have a good day.